This is why you don't have the printer in the, uh, in the same area as the studio. Because people like to print way more than they probably should. But you, you have to wait until a little later. Is that okay? I'll just wait for it. I guess I could just dream of this palace drop. There we go. Welcome back, friends, to another edition of Fauntleroy's Fine. Welcome back, friends, to another edition of Fauntleroy's Finest, and today we're going to talk Palace's Week 7. No, why? And I'm really digging this collaboration they have coming out this Friday with Porter Yoshida Co. Yoshida & Co. is a Japanese manufacturer designer mainly focusing on bags and accessories. Yoshida & Co. and its Porter brand are household names in Japan, and they've also been building a bit of a following in the West. Porter was established in 1962 and gained quick notoriety due to its playful branding. Their most popular bags tend to give off a military vibe, which were said to have originally have gained inspiration from MA1 jackets. Now to be fair, I wasn't all that up on Porter Yoshida, but luckily I am in the Fauntleroy's finest Discord and Larry D, the world's number one streetwear connoisseur, oh. he filled me in a bit on the company and maybe the best way to explain them is they're kind of like double taps, but for bags. A lot of the bags on the Porter website definitely have a double taps vibe to me, and there's definitely a military type vibe to a lot of this stuff. I do have a lot of things coming up. I, I still haven't received anything from FTP yet, not even a shipping confirmation. So I assume that we will have some FTP items showing up eventually. Let's not jump to conclusions. I have a half evil coming in with some pants that I'm really excited to get in, but they haven't sent me a confirmation yet either. I know some some of you have already received your items. Lucky you. Lucky. So for anyone out there that's in the same boat, Half Evil and FTP are still shipping orders out, aka my orders, I assume. So don't worry just yet. And if you want to see more non-Supreme videos on the channel, make sure that you like this video. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe to the channel. And make sure you turn notifications on so you don't miss any of the live streams that I have coming up as well. Alright guys, let me go through this list real quick. We have some estimated retails, so not 100% sure how accurate they will be. They should be pretty close though. Now there are a few other palace items releasing this week. Nothing too crazy. The Mona Lisa beanie is kind of interesting. And maybe the face mask beanie. But pretty much anything that's just on the palace side would be completely for personal. Basically, I'm just gonna go through the collab items, so deal with it. Deal with it. First off, here's the only actual accessory that they have coming out with this collaboration, and it's a pin. It's a $10 pin. Uh, I like it. I like the logo that they did with this collaboration. That's what drew me to it, and that sent me on my journey to learn a little bit more about Porter as a company. It's the cheapest entry point into this collaboration. All you gotta do is spend 10 bucks, and now you have a whole nother brand in your arsenal. Next up, they're giving us a little coin purse as well. Um, nothing too crazy. Usually the coin purses actually sit on the site, even the collab ones. This should be about 85 bucks maybe, somewhere around there. If you need a cool coin purse, why the hell not, but I don't really need one, so I'm gonna move along. Go on, man, I'm not wanted here. Next we have the Porter Palace two-way shoulder bag. Now Porter is a bag company, so the bags from this collaboration will be much more sought after than probably any of the clothing items or anything else. And what's really cool is the selection of bags that we're getting are some of Porter's most popular, most famous style, like this two-way shoulder bag. The retail price on this should be somewhere between $300 to $330, which for a fairly high-end bag collaboration isn't that bad. I was honestly expecting to see these prices be a lot higher than this, but just based on collaborations that Palace has done in the past, I think that these price points are pretty decent, to be fair. The design on these was done by some sort of custom tie-dye application, blabbity blabbity whatever. 
I don't know, it looks cool to me. I honestly don't think you can go wrong with any of the bags that I'm going to be talking about here today. And I'm pretty sure this one should be the cheapest entry point as far as bags and this collaboration go. I believe on the website they refer to these as briefcases, so kind of think of it like that. It's just going to be something you can kind of jam a bunch of stuff into. It'll have a few other pockets on the front. Just your run-of-the-mill high-end shoulder bag. Next up, we have the Palace Porter two-way helmet bag. Now, me personally, this is my favorite bag that they have releasing in this collaboration. It looks like the price point should be somewhere around 360, maybe 375. Now, Larry told me that these bags were made to be able to hold two flight helmets and two flight suits. So that seems like that should be a pretty big bag. So I'm gonna trust him on that. I just really like the way that this bag looks. It looks like you can just jam all kinds of shit in there. It looks super useful. I'm really trying to hold myself back from buying these. I have to pay the electric bill and everything, but man, I could really use a bag like that. I travel all the time. So depending maybe on what happens with Supreme, I don't know, maybe I just go all in on a bag or something here, but I know they're going to be very, very hard to get. I do expect all of these bags to just fly off of that website, so you're going to have to be on the ball if you want to get any of these things. Yeah, you're a smart fella, Dad. And you're a fart smeller, Meg. Next up, we have the Porter Palace Field Pack. The initial estimations that I have are in Japanese yen, and this one, it says it's 99,000 yen, which equals like $750, so... If that's the case, this one is by far the most expensive bag that they will be putting out. I would say it's probably about the same size as a Supreme or Palace bag if you've ever purchased from them before. I think it's a really, really cool backpack. I have nothing against it other than that retail price seems ridiculous. Hopefully... It's not $750. Uh, either way, I definitely would expect it to be at least $450, $500 regardless. Still a pretty expensive backpack. I know some of you out there are going to grab it. Uh, if you do, I really want to see what it looks like in hand. Please send some pictures over to the channel. Throw them in the Discord if you do pick this thing up because I definitely want to check out what it looks like in hand. And good luck to all you guys that are going after these bags this week. I can guarantee you it's going to be a crapshoot, so good luck to you. Next up, we have some hats. First off, this bucket hat. Um, I don't really like bucket hats. If you do, great. It's a cool looking bucket hat, but I look like an idiot in those and I don't even want to have them in my house anymore. It's, it's that bad. So I'm gonna move along. Get out of here, man! Shit! Now here we go. This is the item that I just have to have from this collaboration. I cannot let this six panel go. Never gonna give you up. It looks so cool to me. I know when it gets here, it's probably not gonna fit me right. I'm just gonna have it like on the desk somewhere. I'm gonna be very sad. But it's specifically for this hat that I busted out the Visu just for this hat so we can say, please, come on hat. You know you wanna come over to my house and play. We got all your friends here. Come play with us, Daddy. It looks like this hat is going to be somewhere between $60 and $70, so a little bit pricey for hats. But again, it could have been way worse. I could have easily seen this thing going for $100. This is hands down my favorite hat that I've ever seen Palace put out. I need to get this. Please avoid this hat until you know that Fauntleroy copped it, okay? Just stay away from the hat. Let me get it. Then you go after it, okay? Because if I don't get it, I could possibly die. Do you want to be the cause of my death? I thought not. I don't give a shit. Next up, the only other thing my broke ass is going to go after this week, a t-shirt. I really do like the logo that they made for this collaboration. I like the little butler. He's standing in front of the Palace Porter logo. He's got a Palace briefcase. He's ready to help you. I need that guy in my life as well. Of the four colorways, I think that I'm digging the one with the orange trifurg on it, that khaki colorway. I just think that the logo really pops on that one. And then maybe I'm going to go with that kind of baby blue colorway after. I think those colorways also kind of pop out, make the logo stick out a little bit better. And then I'll put the gray one as a close third because that tonal aspect is, is kind of cool as well. The white one is my least favorite, so uh, you guys go ahead and get that one as much as you want. Again, let me get my shirt. I want my orange Triford Butler shirt, so please leave it alone. Let me get my t-shirt. Let me get my hat. I'll go away. You can get the cool stuff. I'm just trying to pick up some stuff for myself, okay guys? Jeez. Beat it, is it? I think the price range on these is also somewhere around like $65. There's obviously a possibility that the bigger sizes of these t-shirts could do something. Buying anything from Palace for resale is definitely a risk. 
but they've made some really good pieces here this is a good t-shirt if anything from palace has a chance of doing good i mean i think these shirts do that's it cool Next up, we have these hoodies, and there's two different colorways, a gray, and I guess that's a khaki colorway. This is honestly my least favorite item of the collaboration. Nothing wrong with it. It's just kind of a basic hooded sweatshirt with a triferg on the back. It has that cool little porter tag on the front. I think the price point should be right around $190, $200. Either way, cool hoodie, neat little piece, but my least favorite item of this collaboration. Next up, the centerpiece jewel of the collaboration. This jacket is super cool. That was cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is a super wearable jacket, very functional. I love the fact that it comes with the side bag. That side bag attaches to the jacket. You can carry it around on your pocket. You can carry it around with the little strap, however you wanna do it. You've got options now because you've got this jacket. I love the pattern, and it looks like the price is somewhere around $400. I was really expecting it to be a lot higher. Still, $400 for this jacket, that's pretty high. I think some people might pay $400 for that jacket just to get the side bag that it comes with. Not to take away from this really cool jacket, we are still anticipating that Junior one to drop at some point. I think I can speak for a lot of the guys in the Discord and say we like that jacket a lot more than this one, but this one is not going to cost anywhere near as much as the Junior one probably will. This confession has meant nothing. Well, there you go, guys. I just wanted to get this one out to you. I think this is a really, really good Palace Week, and I thought that it was worthy of making a video. Let me know in the comments down below if you're going to go after anything on this Palace drop. You're not my dad! If you do, good luck to you, and if this video did not give you the fill of Fauntleroy that you need in your life today, well, then you should check out these videos right here. Junior Watson, I be on my. Junior Watson, I be on my.